Welcome to 10 Minutes Travel today. We're counting down our picks for the top 14 destinations in Nassau, Bahamas. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to 10 Minutes Travel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest video. For this list, we're looking at the spots that have made Nassau, Bahamas a go-to Caribbean destination for honeymooners' families and worldly travelers. Number 14, Aqua Venture Water Park at Atlantis, Paradise Island, the Atlantis Resort, a luxurious hotel, aquarium, water park, and entertainment venue is one of the main attractions in the Bahamas. The designers of the property have gone to great lengths to create a fantasy atmosphere, and the decorations feature real and mythical creatures, such as seahorses and helmeted domes. The outdoor aquarium is one of the largest in the world and focuses on native tropical species, with the tanks exhibiting the ruins and sculptures of Atlantis. The AquaVenture water park is fun for both adults and children. It has an 18-meter drop into a shark-filled lagoon known as the Leap of Faith, as well as a lazy river ride that goes over waves and rolling rapids. Spending a day at the resort is one of the most popular activities in the Bahamas. Individuals who adore animals can experience a unique opportunity to swim with dolphins or take part in the Ultimate Trainer for a Day program at Dolphin K located at the resort. Number 13, Cable Beach. Despite the fact that there are many resorts located on this well-known part of the coast, Cable Beach has a classic Caribbean beach vibe. Visitors to this beach will be able to take in the sight of pristine white sand, turquoise waters, and sun loungers, making it one of the best places to go to in Nassau. The waters are also safe for swimming. Those staying at one of the area's resorts can take advantage of their proximity to the beach, such as the Melia Nassau Beach Hotel, Breezes, and Sandals Royal Bahamian. Even if you're not a guest at one of the resorts, the beach is open to the public, so anyone can relax. Number 12, Blue Lagoon Island, also called Salt K, is a favorite spot for visitors taking a cruise to Nassau. Just five kilometers away from Nassau, this private island offers plenty of entertainment, including a variety of water activities and chances to meet dolphins and sea lions up close. At the three-acre marine animal facility, Animal enthusiasts can join the Dolphin Encounters program to learn about these friendly creatures and get to interact with them under the supervision of certified trainers. Day trippers can take a ride on a Segway, chill in the hammocks along the beach with palm trees, or swim and snorkel in the lagoon. The water park with its inflatable toys is a sure hit for kids. Number 11, Queen's Staircase. In the late 1700s, slaves worked hard to carve 66 steps out of solid limestone to provide an escape route for troops out of Fort Fincastle. A hundred years later, the steps were dubbed the Queen's Staircase in honor of Queen Victoria and her efforts in abolishing slavery in the Bahamas. Now, when visitors ascend the steep staircase, they are enveloped by a tranquil waterfall and lush green foliage. The stairs lead to the peak of the island, Fort Fincastle, which was erected by Lord Dunmore in 1793. The fort is designed like a boat's bow and offers a sweeping view of Nassau and the nearby ocean. Number 10, Ardastra Gardens and Wildlife Conservation Center. The famous Ardastra Gardens and Wildlife Conservation Center is situated on a four-acre area of lush tropical gardens, renowned for its marching flamingos that respond to orders. The zoo is dedicated to the preservation of a variety of Caribbean species, such as the endangered Bahama parrot and different kinds of iguanas. Little ones love the petting zoo and can even feed the friendly rainbow lorikeets. If you are seeking a respite from the beach with your kids, this is a great experience to have in Nassau. Number 9. Clifton Heritage National Park Clifton Heritage National Park has something to offer everyone, offering a combination of history, culture, natural beauty, and peace. The guided tours along the trails provide an opportunity to learn about the Lucayans, Loyalists, and Africans who all made the Bahamas such a unique place. Remnants of villages, plantations, and slave quarters are still present in the park, as is a medicinal garden. Exploring the trails reveals a variety of ecosystems, from coastal wetlands, rocky cliffs, and dunes to coral reefs and a stunning beach. As you wander, be sure to keep an eye out for wading, seabirds, and songbirds. Number 8. Cabbage Beach, Paradise Island If you're dreaming of laying back and soaking up the sun at a perfect beach, Cabbage Beach is your destination. It's the most famous beach on Paradise Island, boasting great white sand and being the ideal spot for families who want to make sandcastles and bury each other. Nevertheless, the waves can get pretty rough, 
so be extra mindful if you're with young ones. While playing in the sand is a great idea, this beach is not the safest for swimming. You can rent out beach chairs and umbrellas, but be prepared to pay a considerable fee. The cost of rentals at Cabbage Beach is not much different from other beaches in Nassau. Number 7. Pirates of Nassau Museum Although it has comparatively few relics from the past, the Pirates of Nassau Museum is a great source of education for kids about the maritime history of Nassau. Guests to the museum can stroll through a mock-up of the Revenge Pirate Vessel and the city of Nassau, observe pirate decorations and artifacts, and communicate with role-playing buccaneers. Displays also tell the stories of the notorious Blackbeard and notable female pirates. Spending a couple of hours here with the family is a splendid way to spend time, especially when the weather is not suitable for outdoor activities. Number 6. Marina Village, Paradise Island those hoping to indulge in some retail while on a Bahamian holiday should ensure they have time to explore Marina Village on Paradise Island. The cheerful buildings provide a stunning background for shoppers to look at the items on display in the pastel-colored facades. It is located just three minutes away on foot from Atlantis. Here you can find a variety of items from beach clothing and jewelry to souvenirs. After working up an appetite from all the shopping, you can choose from one of the restaurants in Marina Village. You can try either some relaxed family-style Italian food or delicious Bahamian cuisine at Café Martinique. Do not forget to leave some room for some ice cream. Number 5. Nassau Straw Market In the mid-1940s, the sponging industry went downhill, causing Bahamian women to start weaving and braiding the foliage of palm trees and sisal plants into baskets and fishing traps to bring in additional earnings. This is an activity that is still practiced at the straw market in Nassau. If you are looking for a Bahamian memento, there is a wide selection of hats, mats, baskets, wooden carvings, fabrics, and many other items. The old market building was destroyed by a fire in 2001, but the market still works and has become a major part of downtown. Number 4. National Art Gallery of the Bahamas The National Art Gallery of the Bahamas, housed in the renovated Villa Doyle, is a monumental neoclassical manor that is the leading art organization in the nation. The earliest construction of the edifice was done in the 1860s by William Henry Doyle, the Chief Justice of the Bahamas, and the southern wing was added in the 1920s by Sir Walter K. Moore. The remarkable collection inside consists of works of art such as paintings, sculptures, ceramics, photography, and textiles created by Bahamian artists ranging from the early 1900s to the current times. Number 3. Government House This marvelous conch-colored dwelling, dating back to 1801 and modernized after the 1929 hurricane, is the dwelling of the Governor General of the Bahamas and is set atop Mount Fitzwilliam. The building is made of stone and is supported by ionic columns, making it a great illustration of Georgian colonial architecture. Outside the entrance, one can find a statue of Christopher Columbus, crafted in 1830. Currently, tourists can saunter around the area and take in the beautiful sights of the bay and Paradise Island. Youngsters will take pleasure in witnessing the changing of the guard ceremony, which occurs at Government House every two weeks. Number 2. Versailles Gardens, Paradise Island. If you can afford it, book accommodation at the Ocean Club, a Four Seasons Resort in the Bahamas. It is a lavish holiday spot with lavish lodgings, top-notch amenities, and delicious eateries. You can also enjoy the Versailles Gardens, one of the resort's most popular offerings. This gorgeous garden is characterized by a terraced pathway dotted with statues and stairs, which leads to a collection of marble cloisters that offer an amazing view of the harbor. The centerpiece of the gardens is Silence, a marble statue crafted by Sir William Reed Dick in 1928. To the lower end of the path, toward the resort's main pool, lies an equally impressive sculpture called the Reclining Venus, made by the Italian master Lorenzo Bartolini in 1829. Number 1. Downtown in Bay Street The popular downtown in Bay Street in Nassau is a busy combination of shops and eateries and features some of the finest duty-free shopping opportunities. Holidaymakers flock here to get jewelry, t-shirts and fragrances, as well as to visit the Straw Market and Pirates of Nassau Museum. Merchants can be quite aggressive towards visitors, particularly when a cruise boat has arrived. However, a straightforward no thank you should be sufficient to keep them away. Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.